see. How do you select your guests? Or like um, what kind of guests do you So do you I, I used for? I used to consume a lot of content. Like mm-hmm. I consume a lot of content from like all the various fields like sciences, businesses, like um politics and everything. So there's a lot of people that I I, I used to follow. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I try and hit them up now. But in general, I search for people with stories. Like, I search for anyone with a story. I think everyone's story is worthwhile. And I think everyone has an amazing story. Because sometimes we only presume that the people that have good stories to tell are the ones that are at the higher end. But for all you know, their story might be dead compared to yours because their story might just have been here. They didn't get to experience this because they, 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 were, they were deemed precious from a young stage. So they were taken up here straight away. So they weren't able to experience the rest of the stuff that mm-hmm. we did. Do you know what I mean? So I realized that everyone's got a story. So if I see someone that's doing something mm-hmm. and I can see that they're doing something like yeah. yourself, then I, I know immediately that they've got a story. Yeah. And with social media right now, when, I'm, when you're scanning through social media, you come across people that are putting out content. You come across people that are talking about stuff. You come across people that have got skill sets. So I'm able to sift through that and then try and like, contact those individuals. Do you know what I mean? So I look for people with stories. And out of their stories, I try and learn something and share what I'm learning with my audience. Mm. So that's the process of selection. It's just skimming through social media and word of mouth as well. And yeah, it's yeah. helping me greatly because people know what I'm doing. And through my content, those that watch my videos, they know the type of stuff I like engaging yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. So through that, they'll be like, oh, yeah, my boy does so and so. Do you know what I mean? Or my boy does this and that. Or I've got a friend. She's amazing. She does so and so. So yeah. like hit her up. So that's helping me now a lot. And then when I go and check out their content, if it's in line, then I'll holler at them. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you as well, I don't, I don't really, I don't really filter through people too much. I don't yeah. mind what people have to say, whether it's contradicted yeah. to what I believe in, as long as they have something to say, yeah. which we can get some value yeah. from. So would you ever get them mad personalities out there on, on, on your on your? I, I, I would, but yeah. I wouldn't invite them to my yard. <laughs> I would have got se- secret location. Secret location before yeah. they burn down the house and that. Yeah. yeah, do you know what? I think, okay, if I was to get a mad character on you, someone who's completely way out there, yeah, like it has to be me having a conversation, trying to understand their mindset in okay. order to help other people either avoid it or get a deeper understanding as to but why the person would you, would is you having to get issues. someone on knowing they can get you let's say you knew this person comes on your mm-hmm. show they can get you 50,000 views I, I wouldn't Easy. do it solely for the views you wouldn't oh, okay. I, not solely for the views no mm-hmm. I wouldn't no because I, w- I would have to have a purpose so what, what I do is whenever I get recommended someone or yeah. whenever I like someone or I've, I've been watching someone's content I'll break it down I'll dissect it and see where I can get value yeah. out of this and where people can get value from yeah. the conversation as well if I think the person just coming on to rant and rave or just say something radical randomly just because yeah. we want views, then I wouldn't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If I think I can't engage the person, mm. I'm not going to just for the sake of it because yeah. I feel like it goes against everything I believe in. Even though I'm willing to get people on that are radical, but it yeah. has to be someone who I think we well, can engage in enough that's conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Because yeah. or else like if, if you don't stand for something or if you don't have a, a set goal or purpose that you're aiming for, then yeah. what's the point? point yeah. You're just going with the wind. I'm not yeah. here to go with the wind. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Real. Yeah, no, so that's definitely. That. So I wouldn't do it for the views, but if if I can do it for the views and also get <laughs> something out of it, yeah, yeah, why one hundred percent, I would do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, would you get someone like mad random? Ah, oh, no, no, I can't stand that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah it's I too much. St- yeah, I think it's so mm. it's so overpopulated now. Where everyone's just doing something. Because like you said, you're listening to Paul Show, you're seeing people, and you're just mm. thinking, you know, you're just doing it to be famous. So you yeah. just you're just chasing, as they say, the clout chases. Mm. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That's that, that's that's one of the key things as well when it comes to like my podcast. I try to keep it as organic as possible. Like I don't, there's no dress up, there's no makeup. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's just like, real. It's just real. Yeah. You get on the mic, we talk. Whatever comes out, comes out of it. Yeah. Like we've been talking now for nearly an hour, and yeah. I, I've already feel like I've learned something, or yeah. I'm getting a sense of who you are in yeah. your journey. And if someone else is going through that journey, they might pick one or two lessons yeah. out of it, which it's the aim of the podcast no, definitely. Do you know what I mean it's not just for us to come on here just to say something random like yeah. oh yeah oh we hate all these people boom and yeah. then now all of a sudden you're you're on you're on all of the um, what's all those pages and that, that um, them UK they, gossip and yeah all you're, kind of you're on all of the and, gossip pages mm. all of the tea pages and stuff and every, all of a sudden it blows up yeah. because obviously people engage with um, with negativity yeah. like if you want high engagement you have to push negativity that's how Facebook mm. got big do you know what I mean? Like Facebook actively, the algorithm picks out negative yeah. stuff and it pushes on to us. Like right now, if a black man gets shot, yeah. even though 10 white people are being shot yeah. in the same hour, they know that black people are going to get enraged by that. Yeah. So they're going to push on all of us. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. 
then all of us start engaging with it and then mm. their figures go up and then our emotions get controlled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's how the game works. Wow. Do you know what I mean? It's just how the, it's, it's the, it's the like, nature of the beast and the algorithm.